Hello, welcome to this video. It's Lena Chen from DigitalLena.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to install or download and use the COTPS script to automate your trading. All right. So in the previous video, I actually showed you. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a link in the video description. What I showed you in that video is how to set up a VPS. I showed you a very cheaper VPS where you can go and set up your account. And then after setting up that VPS, as I did uh, showed you in that video, um, um, I showed you that mine came by default with the Chrome browser. If yours do not come with the Chrome browser, if it comes with any other browser, because um, on the script it is indicated that I should use Chrome okay so there is need for you to download Chrome so open that browser that it comes with if it is Firefox or Internet Explorer and then um, download the Chrome sorry uh, my script are running okay that is why uh, it's popping up so I just minimize this so that I can distract us all right so when you download Chrome okay when you download Chrome, the next thing you want to do, I probably indicated or showed you that in the video, okay, in the ending part of the video, how to download Java 8 and install the Java 8. All of that has been done already. In this video, it's just to um, download the script and then set it up, all right? So if I go ahead and maximize this browser, um, this link will be provided for all of you who are signing up with our, um, with my team, okay? Um, the script is set up, is free of charge, okay? One once you sign up with the link we provided for the crypto otc trading platform we provide the, the script for you for free all right so to be a part of this if you want to get access to this the link to join the telegram group will be in the video description and now before i go further if you are new to this channel you love videos about making money online about crypto trade and investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published all right so once you open up your chrome browser on the vps this link will be provided for you for those of you who want to set up the script and the condition here once again is that you need to sign up with our link okay that is the only way we can make this available for you all right so once you open it up you want to paste the link there and just click on enter okay the google drive link that is provided just paste it there and click on enter um let it go ahead and load up because we are going to download um the script and then i'll show you what next to do after you've downloaded the script okay all right so as you can see here this is the script okay once this link opens up this way all you need to do is to click on this arrow here okay to download the script so you just click on this arrow and once you click on that arrow to open on a new tab to download that script into a computer and by default it will download it to um, the download folder all right all right so um it's downloading okay so look at this uh, starting so it's downloading once you finish downloading i'll show you the next step to take okay this is just um about 22 or 23 mb so it has downloaded all right so as you can see here it has finished downloading and the next thing i want to do is to click on this arrow and then i'll click on show in folder all right so that will show up that in the folder and the next thing i want to do is you can just click drag this to your desktop okay or you can just right click it and then either cut it or copy it or to your desktop all right um so once you copy it to your desktop or cut it to your desktop the next thing you want to do is um to right click on this and then click on extract all okay once you right click on it click on extract all and this is very very important okay so once you click on extract all you want to make sure that this is going to be if it is on your desktop it's going to be on your desktop folder mine is still on the download folder that is right here. so you make sure that you remove every um thing here and then it will be your desktop slash you know the uh, with this slash here nothingness okay nothing in after the slash just make sure it is this way and then you go ahead and click on extract okay um go ahead and click on extract and that will go ahead and extract that and this is the folder where it extracted this too all right so um so now that it has extracted it i go ahead and double click on this this is the file that you are going to be working with all right if i open the project here okay in your own case mine i've set it already if i just click it will open with notepad all right 
so in your own case you want to right click on this project whenever you see the project right click on it and then click on open with okay when this dialog box pops up okay don't be distracted with the trace that are currently running on my screen okay when it pops up you want to click on show apps or more apps okay click on it and then you go ahead and look for notepad and select notepad and make sure you check this always open this well, with this um, uh, property files and then go ahead and click on ok and that will go ahead and open it up ok so let me just minimize this thread I have some scripts that are running so it will continue to pop up ok so don't be distracted with that alright so now that it has opened up this is the code ok this is the script that you will use to automate your trading alright so in order to generate this license for you there are two things you are going to send to us number one is your client i am um, your client name what you are going to use as a client name is going to be your the pc of the vf uh, the pc name or the device name of the vps that you set up i will show you how to get that in a moment and then the second thing you need to send is the username of your cotps account Okay, so you are going to send those two things for us and we can use that to generate the license for you. So once the license is generated for you, um, you just come in here and add those details here. Now to get the PC, the name of the PC, you want to come down here, okay, to where it says start. This is your window uh, button here, click on it, okay. So once you click on it, you want to go ahead and type about this device, okay. Just go ahead and type about your PC. You whenever you just type about it, you see this about your PC. Go ahead and click on that. So once you click on about your PC, you see where it says device name. Okay, this device name is what you are going to copy. All right. So you are going to copy this device name for us, and then attach it with the username of your COTPS account. Alright, so we're going to use these two um, uh, items or these two uh, names you are sending for us, the device or the device name of your VPS and then the username or the nickname of your COTPS account. We're going to use it to generate the license for you. Alright, so once the license is generated for you, you're going to put the client ID here and then the license ID here. Once you add in these two information, um, you are good to go. So the next thing you need to do is for the country code, um, for instance, if you're in Nigeria, your country code will be 234, okay? Leave the plus, don't add the plus, just add 234. And then if you want to use multiple accounts, if you want to manage multiple accounts with this, if I put in 234, okay, for the first account, I'll just separate it with a comma, no space, all right? The next one again, you put 234, all right, with a comma, just separate it with a comma, no space. If it is a Ghanaian, I, I want to manage uh, his account. The next thing is, so, the Ghana, Ghana, Ghana's code is uh, 233, okay, and then you separate it with a plus. If you want to manage the account of somebody in the UK, you go ahead and put 44, which is their own code, and then you keep separating this with a comma, all right? So um, after doing that, the next thing is to add them their phone numbers, all right? Now, the one thing I need to note here, the phone numbers are the password. Let's say you want to add multiple accounts, okay? If phone number one is taking the first space here, if phone number one is taking the first space here, the first space here should equally be the password of that phone number one okay and then when you separate it with comma the next number should equally tally with the second number or the second password all right so if the first person's phone number is here his password will be here if the second person's phone number is the second one the password should equally be the second one that way you will not have issue with this all right so once you finish doing that um you go ahead and click on save just go to file and then save and once you save you go ahead and close this okay so once you save this file you can go ahead and close this and once you close it the next thing you want to do after you close this the next thing you want to do so after you close this the next thing you want to do is to come in here on this run okay and just double click on it just double click on it and that will just begin immediately just as you are seeing on my screen here um, a lot of transactions are ongoing because I have a script running already um, that is why you are seeing all of that going the 
script is automatically taking trace for all of the accounts that i have on my own script okay so basically that is how to set up the script once again i will need your username okay of the cotps account of your cotps account and then the device name of your vps these are the two things we need to set up a license or to create a license for you and once the license is created you can go ahead and you know input them here yeah? so once you, the license is sent you just copy and paste it in front of this equal uh, sign here and then the client id as well there is no space okay just attach them no space and once you are done with that you can start running your script all right so once you close it and it prompts you to save go ahead and click on save okay and once it is saved you can just come in here to run the uh, this uh, file and then it will start automating your trade for you all right so that is it about this video if you have um any issue you can always reach us to us via our social media platform telegram or whatsapp i will see how we can help you set up the the the, the script for you okay so if you can't do it on your own um, we can actually help you to do that all right just let us know and we'll let you know what it takes and that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye